Moving on to our next story, secondary schools across the country face early closure if the government fails to release part of the delayed capitation. Kenya Secondary Schools Heads Association National Chairman Willie Kuria says delayed disbursement of part of the 24 billion shillings capitation to schools has paralyzed learning in secondary schools, which threatens to jeopardize the smooth running of the forthcoming KCSE examinations. The debt burden in schools could see secondary schools close ahead of the schedule, with schools head decrying further delays in disbursement of capitation to learning institutions across the country. Led by Kenya Secondary Schools Heads Association National Chairman Willy Kuria, the principals expressed concern that most of the day secondary schools have not been able to handle the end of term sciences practicals due to lack of funds to purchase the required equipment and exam materials. The amount that has been received in the, in the tuition and operation account is about 11,300. And uh, this makes it difficult for schools to be able to operate uh, because what is budgeted per learner is 22,224. The situation has raised concerns in the schools with heads of institutions noting that this will affect preparedness of learners, especially on science-related subjects in the forthcoming KCSE. Some of them are interacting with the operators for the first time because we don't have the, the operators that they can see and now the, this being an exam and they have come for the first time, what we are expecting is the failure because the student has not been exposed uh, to such practicals in our school. The situation is actually very critical in day schools because day schools do not have any other source of income. They they purely rely on this capitation. The situation has forced some institutions to temporarily seek facilitation from better equipped schools. In Muranga County, from three students from Giko Day Secondary and Kambirwa Day Secondary Schools have sought assistance from Muranga High School for their science exams, practicals, which is training resources. Tunakosa apareta sabo tunafaa kutumia kwa laboratory. Hata laboratory yenyewe pia bado tuko tuna room tulitengenezewa lakini hakuna hata chochote ambacho kimekuja. However, in a separate event in Meru County, Education Cabinet Secretary Julius Ogamba noted the government had already released the funds, insisting the ministry is committed to enhancing smooth learning across the country. The capitation was actually released, uh, I, I think two days before time, or just on time for the students. Uh, opening. But I've seen something in the news, uh, in the papers, that there is uh, an issue relating to finances. And I want to assure the country that uh, as far as the ministry is concerned, the funds were released and we're going to find out what is the discrepancy that uh, they are talking about. To ensure a seamless transition for CBC learners, Ogamba said the government has constructed more than 12,000 classrooms in the country out of the targeted 16,000 classrooms. We've got funding from the World Bank to do 12,000 classrooms. According to the school calendar, all Kenyan secondary schools are scheduled to break for holiday from 25th of October 2024 to pave way for the national examinations. Uh, some schools, uh, of course, will go up to that time. Others are maybe unable to go up to that time, not because of the fact that they are not willing, but sometimes they, they, they need to, 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 they are unable to push on because of the, the, the fads. John Kahiro, Easy Friday.